Hello and welcome to tutorial 31 in this series of tutorials designed to help you learn TradeStation Easy Language. And uh, the reason for this tutorial is to go over some very simple uh, syntax within Easy Language because some of the uh, folk who get the tutorials had some questions about when to use colons, semicolons, or commas. So uh, I've got a simple program here that I'm working on which is going to be a multi-day moving average and uh, what I want to do is just go through some of the syntax for it. So firstly at the top we have input and variables. Now after input here we have a colon and then at the end uh, then we have the name of the input. We have these round brackets or open brackets uh, or parentheses and inside that you've got the uh, initialized value for that input and uh, then we close the bracket and then we've got a semicolon. Now when we've got multiple inputs or variables what we do is the same thing but we we put a comma after each one of them until the last one and there we use a semicolon. Other things to notice at the top of this uh, screen here is we are using if we want to write some comments we could put in two uh, forward slashes or as we've done up here we could surround the comment with the curly brackets or squiggly brackets and uh, the advantage of that is we just put one of those to open it at the beginning and then right at the end we oops, we close it off there so we don't need to um, put the double forward slashes on every single line which is what we would have to do otherwise. Now generally in a program uh, every line will end with a Sem semicolon such as this uh, plot statement here but that's slightly different in a begin statement so for example here we've got a begin statement and um, within that we've got another begin statement so what we have there is we do not have a colon semicolon or comma after the uh, is date different not the same as the date the previous bar we do not have a comma semicolon or colon after the begin and then again uh, another if then statement we don't have anything then after the uh, then neither do we have anything after the begin but then the items within the begin end loop we have uh, each line ends with semicolon now if this was just a single begin end we would put a semicolon after the end but we've actually got an else if so if we have an else if then again we do not have a semicolon comma or colon again we do not have anything after the begin but then on each line of code we end with a semicolon and then because this is the end of this uh, uh, else if statement here we do end with that with a semicolon and again we have another line within the the outer begin end loop and if we were to just move to the end we'd see that that is ended in a semicolon. Again uh, if you have any uh, uh, issues with this one of the things you can always do is right click and look at uh, definition of variables and see the uh, information that TradeStation will provide, provides some detailed information there about um, the syntax and how to use it. Um, other things that you might want to be aware of is in uh, easy language it's often possible to use slightly different names so vars rather than variables and it's also possible to put multiple uh, variables on one line provided there uh, provided we use the commas and the semicolons correctly so we, we change the program so I hope that's uh, useful I will be uh, doing a tutorial on the multi-day moving average very soon and uh, look forward to uh, seeing you then thank you very much and by the way if you're not a member of the uh, markplex email list then please go to markplex.com that's m-a-r-k-p-l-e-x.com and join the email list and then I would be happy to let you know when I do new tutorials or issue or create programs. So thank you very much.